Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to do a quick unboxing of what I just got in the mail, which is Pierce Solar and the Great Architects on the Dreamcast. This game is a kind of a love letter. Um, I had done a review about it recently and mentioned my friend Vice the Determined over at the Gaming Sanctuary. Check him out, he did an excellent video review on Pure Solar, um, or Pure Solar as some people call it. Uh, it originally came out on the Sega Genesis and the Mega Drive. It then got uh, kickstarted and came out on the Dreamcast, and then I believe digitally on like PC, the Wii, um, 360, Xbox One, PS4, I think, PS3. I also have it on the Xbox One because I did have some credit that was expiring, so I ended up buying it. So this is like double dipping, but I prefer physical media. So here we go. I'm going to crack open this brand new game. So this came uh, in a clamshell, like a plastic clamshell kind of thing. Uh, it was packaged well, but not really because the box was like this big, so it was in like paper and stuff. I mean, this is fine, but it was moving around, so I didn't understand why they used a smaller box. But maybe they're getting some kind of shipping special for doing it on, you know, with the same box for all of them. Um, so there's a little seal here. It says on the back, "Watermelon is proud to release its classic RPG on the Dreamcast." Uh, it gives a little um, story. Huge epic adventure, director's cut, expanded story, outstanding graphic and excuse me, outstanding graphics and VMU exclusive features. One player, 27 VMU blocks. It supports the VGA box, 16 by 9 mode, and a standard controller. Um, there's a couple little pictures like a VMU screen here, and the it says four player bonuses in, in an asterisk. I found that there's mini games you can unlock, and there are four players, and that is why this says it's one player with an asterisk and it's a four player bonus thing, bonus games. So let's crack this bad boy open, take a look what we got. Nice little jewel case. Okay, first thing is a uh, kind of gold foil little mini Pier Solar poster, that's cool. Watermelon is the notorious for including lots of, you know, little goodies. The, uh, the back of the case, disc. I normally don't do unboxings. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, some stickers. This just looks like the uh, the cover slip, which has. Uh, I was a cover on it and then a little artwork in there and the instruction manual. So I got the regular edition. I think they came out with some special editions as well. The uh, the manual looks to be about 30 pages or so, 32 pages. Um, color manual, some screenshots, uh, basic options, story controls, starting a new game. Um, I know that some of the people were. Um, upset initially with the the Genesis release because they said that when you save your game some of it didn't save unless you like left the room in the game and came back in. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming they fixed that in this mode but I'm not 100% sure because obviously I have yet to uh, to open it. This is pretty interesting. You know, in the getting started section which has a little like diagrams and such it says it works in the Dreamcast um, you can use a controller and a VMU, you have to use a controller and a VMU and it's also compatible with the the diver is it divers? I thought it says drivers, but I thought it was divers. 2000 CX1 and Dreamcast. So that's pretty funny that they included those in there. Um, at least one controller, one VMU connect to the game. On the first startup, you will be prompted to choose default language. Save requires 27 blocks. If your VMU is full, please refer to your manual to delete. Um, Saves are made at save points. Each town and dungeon have save points and strategic spots. Look for them. Uh, all right, cool. Okay, auto save. That's it. In most maps, the game will make an auto save feature at the time you enter the map, effectively working very similar to how it was on the Mega Drive Genesis. I think that's what people were upset about initially, um, but I don't know. So anyway. Pure Solar on the Dreamcast. Check out my review from a few months back, the Xbox One digital version I have. Check out Vice the Determined 2. He did an excellent Genesis um, review on it. So, 
hope you guys uh, you know pick this up or want to check it out or something if it's a really big uh, you know classic type of role playing game really cool really nice sprites and little artwork and kind of a love letter to its fans here that they released it on so many different systems and I'm really glad that I um, you know got the physical version as well so thanks guys for watching it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe be good